Nick Cave and his fashion designer wife Susie Beck have found a buyer for their £3.25 million, $5.8 million Australian dollars, eight-bedroom Brighton seafront mansion, after putting the property on the market last month. The listing is currently under offer, according to Rightmove, and is being marketed by Hampton Sales Hove. The Australian musician, 65, and his actress wife, 56, live with their son Earl, 22, in the whimsical 6,397 square feet home, which they bought for £165,000 in 2002. Susie documents their gothic lifestyles on her popular Instagram page, including photos of the quirky grade I listed terraced house. Nick left his native Australia in 1980 and after living in London, Berlin, and Sao Paulo, he moved to Brighton in the early 2000s. He bought the mansion in 2002. After the tragic death of their son Arthur in 2015, the couple relocated to Los Angeles because the seaside city became too sad. But Nick later said they realized they took their grief with them, and so returned to England. But now Nick and Susie are preparing to move again by putting their longtime home, which boasts four bathrooms and a brightly colored gym, on the market. The couple are reportedly moving elsewhere in Brighton, having grown to love the seaside city after living there for almost 20 years. The house shows off the couple's wide-reaching stylistic influences, featuring unique bubblegum pink walls and Victorian furniture. Photographs show their open-plan dining room and kitchen, which boasts vibrant pink painted walls and ceiling, with the book cabinets covered with the same shade of fuchsia. The sprawling room features modern black kitchen cabinets with a rustic wooden breakfast bar with black and gold stools positioned on one side. The room is centered around an eight-seater traditional dining table and chairs, while it also boasts a vintage glass chandelier and a large fireplace. One of the four bathrooms is equally as colorful as the walls, ceiling, door and tiles are all a vibrant dark green, with a patterned red rug also thrown across the floor. The bathroom features a black tiled shower and a freestanding bathtub, with two Mr. and Mrs. sinks in the center of the room. One half of the bathroom also serves as a dressing room, with two full-length mirrors facing a polished wooden dressing table. Another picture shows the bubblegum pink gym, which is fully equipped with cycling machines, cross trainers and weight training facilities. The lavish five-floor property also boasts stunning sea views, with ceiling-to-floor windows opening out onto a Juliet balcony, which overlooks greenery and the ocean. According to the property advert, the sprawling eight-bedroom home also features a drawing room, library and study, as well as a separate lower ground-floor apartment. The basement floor apartment features a shower room and bathroom, a sitting room, two bedrooms, a sauna and a kitchen and utility room. The ground floor boasts the kitchen and dining room and another toilet, while the first floor features another bedroom, two large sitting rooms, one with the Juliet balcony, and a library. On the second floor, there are two more bedrooms and a bathroom and utility room, while the third floor features three further bedrooms and another shower room. According to a property description, the estate, boasting a staggering 250 houses, with the properties grouped in threes, was completed in 1828 and was designed by leading architect Charles Augustine Busby. The 6,397 square feet property also boasts many of the stunning original features, including architraves, shutters and generous high ceilings. 
Nick and his wife Susie moved to Brighton in the 2000s and lived there for more than a decade, but briefly located to Los Angeles after being consumed by grief following the death of their son Arthur. In 2015, Arthur, a twin to Earl, died at the age of 15 after taking hallucinogenic drugs and stumbling off a cliff top near his home, plummeting 60 feet to the ground. Almost two years after the tragedy, Nick and his family relocated to Los Angeles, saying they were unable to continue living in the seaside resort. At the time, Nick said Brighton had been a wonderful place to be but the pain of the memories is too much. The musician, who lived with his family in palatial seafront Regency Mansion in Brighton for 15 years, told GQ magazine, grief and illness and tiredness feed off each other in a kind of feeding frenzy. Mostly we just find it too difficult to live here. Everyone here has just been so great, and that's in a way half the problem. When I go out in Brighton these days, Terry's a sort of feeling that we're all in this together. And it's just a little bit too intense for me. It's too many memories, really. We've really tried, but it's just beyond us, in a way, to remain. However, Nick and his family later returned back to England and returned to their Regency mansion, splitting their time between Brighton and London. Last year, Nick opened up about his decision to move from Brighton because he felt too sad after his family tragedy, but said they returned to England after realizing their grief would follow them anywhere. According to NME, Nick wrote on his fan Q&A site Red Hand Files, Brighton had just become too sad. We did, however, return once we realized that, regardless of where we lived, we just took our sadness with us. These days, though, we spend much of our time in London, in a tiny, secret, pink house, where we are mostly happy. Arthur's death has had a profound impact of Nick's work, and was explored in two of his albums, Skeleton Tree released in 2016 and Ghostine in 2019. Nick's wife Susie often documents their lavish gothic lifestyles on her popular Instagram page, giving glimpses of their quirky interior of their sprawling home. One picture shows the normally black-clad couple dressed in pastels and posing in front of a pair of painted pink flamingo sculptures on a mantel. Susie's fashion label headquarters is also located in an abandoned Victorian Sunday school in Lewis which dates back to 1860. The name of the label is taken from one of Nick's abandoned novels and has become a cult favorite amongst celebrities. The vampire's wife set up in 2014 in a small atelier in Brighton, with clothes manufactured in Poland. Susie's fashion label has been worn by the likes of Kate Blanchett, Kate Moss, Florence Welch, Ruth Naga, and Kylie Minogue. They've also been worn by royals, with Kate Middleton and Princess Beatrice both wearing her garments at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's 2018 wedding. While Susie's label itself is the epitome of whimsical fashion, Susie has spoken about struggling with tragedies in her personal life while working. I struggle with certain things that have happened in my life and sometimes can be in quite a dark place, she said in 2018. I get lost when I'm designing. Time just flies by. It's actually an absolute gift, because the worst thing happened to me. I channel any positive energy I can into creating clothes. Speaking about the loss of Arthur, Susie added, When Arthur died, I didn't think I could carry on. When you lose a child, nothing will take away the pain, not ever. But I did realize if I could focus on something outside of what had happened, 
that if I could separate myself somehow from it all, even for a few seconds, and start creating things in those moments of escapism, then that might be an important thing. In May 2022, Nick's eldest son Jethro Lazenby, whom he shared with Bo Lazenby, died at the age of 30. With much sadness, I can confirm that my son, Jethro, has passed away. We would be grateful for family privacy at this time, Nick said in a statement at the time. Nick also shared his son Luke, 31, with his ex-wife Vivian Carnero, who is a Brazilian journalist. Nick met and married Vivian in 1990 after he moved to Sao Paulo. Vivian gave birth to the couple's son Luke in 1991. They stayed together for six years before divorcing in 1996. Just a matter of days before Luke was born, Nick's first son Jethro Lazenby was born in Australia to mother Bo Lazenby. Nick did not meet Jethro until he was around seven or eight years old, but in 2008 described their relationship as being good. Nick briefly dated singer PJ Harvey in the mid-1990s, and after they broke up, he met British model Susie Beck. The pair married in 1999. In the year 2000, Beck gave birth to twin boys, Arthur and URL, when they were living in London, and raised them in Brighton, 